but they added a lot of other good stuff too. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, Do you have teleportation powers? What was that all about? Hey, like five minutes standing right next <laughs> to you. Stop what it. were you talking about? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Matrix, Don't worry about you know, it. No big yeah. deal. We are here with Jessica Henwick, who plays Bugs, yeah. who is a new character. Uh, what was the most important thing about sort of getting the character of a new character in the Matrix, and just really what did you? What was you your most focused on getting right there? Oh, um. What was I most focused on getting right? I mean, I don't know because it's it's so, tonally so different from the original Matrix. So I knew I was kind of free to do a, a new thing. I think I was just focused on not getting fired. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that's a really good answer. I think we're all scared of that all the time. Yes. So as we know, the most iconic part of any Matrix films is, of course, the sunglasses. So <laughs> when you saw those, well, that's horrible, I know. But those iconic, you know, glasses from mm. the trailer that we've seen, like... Those are just incredible. How'd you feel wearing those, putting those on? Did it feel like I'm fulfilling my identity? I went through like 70 sunglasses. <gasps> by it, It's handmade by this guy, Tom Davies. Mm. And uh, yeah, I came to discover in that process that my face is crooked. Oh, One of my ears is higher than the other. Every single pair of sunglasses was skewed. So we had to custom make it to balance out my ears. We're all a little lopsided. A little tidbit. Yeah. Uh, so your career has spanned uh, Marvel, Game of Thrones, Blade Runner, The Matrix. Uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, <laughs> Star Wars. You've been in a lot. You've been in a lot of stuff. What uh, What appeals to you? Like, do you go for sci-fi? Do you go for fantasy? Uh, superhero stuff? Like. I mean, I've I've done a lot of different genres. I do seem to return a lot to fantasy and sci-fi. I don't know. I when I was a kid, I didn't have that many friends. And fantasy books became my escape and my solace. And uh, yeah, it just, it makes me feel really nostalgic and comforted. So I, I think that's why I always come back to this genre. Interesting. We just got to speak to uh, Jada Pinkett and she was talking about her first experience with the Matrix. What was your first experience with the Matrix world? Um, I was too young to watch it in the cinema when it came out. Sure. But I'd heard about it and I kept trying to watch it. And then I think I must have been about 12, and I think the second film came out. I was in Malaysia at my friend's house, and they had a pirated DVD <laughs> from a car boot sale. And that's how I watched it. And I was still too young, and it traumatized me. I'd never considered that my belly button was an orifice, that things could enter. Yeah. And I had never thought about your mouth getting stitched up. And so I had nightmares about both of those things for a really long time. Okay, so full nightmares and existential crisis as a child. Yes. You know what? I think we can all relate with that a little bit. Yeah. I feel like you owe Lana 20 bucks for that DVD. That's, you know, that's... Yeah. I do. I do. I shouldn't talk about it. I've been... Yeah. Also, remember when DVDs were $20? Yeah. For the days. Uh, what kind of direction did Lana give you as a new character? Like, sort of, what was... How did you get in character as Bugs? You know, Lana doesn't really give that kind of character type direction. It was very much, it was quite minute and specific. Like, okay, how about uh, changing the intonation or the pronunciation or emphasize this word? It was like very, very minute to get it to how she heard it in her head. Um, you know, she's such a wordsmith. That's what she wanted. But uh, yeah, we actually didn't talk about character at all. No. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Well, and also the trust too. Like that's the great thing that a director can she's do. She's been be working, like, living oh. in the Matrix world for longer than I've been alive. So I just, I really did give myself over to her and I was like, I'm a vessel for whatever you want. Uh, mm. And yeah. So you've been in plenty of sort of different cinematic universes. Uh, if you had to be stuck in a video game like The Matrix, well, where would you get stuck? If I was stuck in a video game like The Matrix, where would I get stuck? Like What, what, what game? Like if you had to be stuck in a video game? I would probably go for something like Oblivion or Skyrim, like a big... A, a huge open world or like an old school 90s point and click adventure game I used to be obsessed with those Ooh. yeah okay, those, that, are, those yeah. are both correct answers so yeah, yeah. And, and a, a point and I click win. a point and click sounds a little safer so I'm I'm rooting for that one also, it is pretty safe thank you so much for talking to us I cannot wait to see bugs on screen it's going to be incredible thank you thank you thank you